previously. I have nothing to say to you. And now back to the video. What's going on guys, Kaiser's here, and welcome back to the next episode of Persona 5 Royal. Now, in the last episode, we had a team discussion on whether or not we should intervene with Haru's father and change his heart, and now we came to a consensus and we are going to take his treasure. So, in the next couple of episodes, um, hopefully two, I'm thinking, we are going to prepare ourselves by hanging out with confidants, getting some materials that we need in order to infiltrate the palace because apparently Okumura's palace is way harder than it was in the original. So I want to prepare myself, get everything that I need before we head in there, and then by the time when I think we're ready, we will go ahead and infiltrate the palace. So without further ado, I hope you guys are ready for today's video and I hope you enjoy. should hang out with Maruki because he's the one that we need the most. So let's decline all of these and then let's head over to Maruki. Hello, Doc. Well, shall we begin? Well, let's get started. For today's topic, let's see. I'd like to hear your opinion on these Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Oh. The ones who steal the desires of criminals and reportedly force them to confess. Maybe it's a little hard to believe, but I guess I've taken an academic interest in them. Really are dedicated. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's just a gut feeling I have. But I get the feeling the Phantom Thieves' work and my own research are rooted in the same principles. That's why I've decided to analyze them from my own perspective. For example, there's the matter of their methods. According to those calling cards they sent out, they stated the method is to steal your desires. How is such a feat even possible? Any ideas, Karusaku? As in them, as if they're something material rather than abstract. So, they'd be stealing desires by taking some tangible form of them. Well, in that case, I suppose it'd be possible if you could find some physical proxy for human desires. Say, Kurusukun, do you remember the story with the cookies? Ah, yes, where it was like that one cookie was the best in the world or something like that. In that experiment, the desire for the cookies actually changed the way people tasted them. I think we can look at it this in the same way. They're not something easily perceived, but desires have a tremendous effect on our cognition. Put another way, if that desire is gone, your cognitive perception of the cookie skews back to normal. So, does that remind you of anything? Uh, the change of heart? Right. That's right, the Phantom Thief's own change of heart. That's the basis of my theory. Their theft of desire is not metaphorical, but something more direct. We still don't know exactly how they steal these desires, of course, but if this idea of physical, tangible desires can be actualized, I think it'd be logically... Or I... It... 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 it. What the hell? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what it, it would mean. It it logically follow that they can be taken away. In a world of tangibles, let's say a world composed of the contents of people's hearts. Well, they're thieves, so if they could perceive a world like that, they could steal desires like any other treasure. Hey, Kurusuku, you think I'm getting anywhere here? It's intriguing, I will say. First cognitive science, and now you're getting more and more interested with the Phantom Thieves. You think so too, Kurusuku? If it's actually anywhere close to the truth, it'd be incredible. And again, we'll probably never know for sure unless we could ask one of the Phantom Thieves themselves. <laughs> Funny how you bring that up. I think it can construct a solid hypothesis now. It feels like I'm just one step away from finishing this paper. Thank well, you. Good on you. Thank you, Kurusukun. Eh, no problem, Doc. Happy to help. Ooh, flow boost raises the chance of flow succeeding. All right. That's gonna be so helpful, Maruki. Thank you. Now, today's mental training technique. How about something like this? I could care less about this All training. Right. Give me my snack. There it is. Phantom wafers. Let's see. see you for me. Ooh, hello. Actually. This is it. The digital version of the weekly magazine. Oh, is that the one you uh, took the uh, shoot for or whatever? My father's deteriorating health and that he's bedridden. The fact that my mother primarily supports us. 
They even reported that my mother works at a nightclub. Ooh. Jeez. Which is not untrue. But was it really necessary for them to write all about this? Capitalizing on my family's private matters is just cruel. My family's troubles have nothing to do with my skills as a shogi player. Yeah, no kidding. You gotta ask for permission, Jesus. My mother was furious when she read the article. She said it'll hurt her career and that she'll never forgive whoever wrote it. My father didn't say anything. He just sat there listening to her. But he looked troubled. Oh boy. <sighs> my mother told me that we'd be able to easily quell these rumors if I were to become more famous. So now she's even more insistent on having me do more TV and magazine interviews than before. Jeez. It's definitely frustrating. Yes. Although I can't express that to my mother, she's so happy for me. Um... I always believed that if I worked hard as a shogi player, I'd be able to support us. But I never expected such a destructive article would be written about me and my family. Honestly, nothing good will come from being treated like an idol. People say I'm all looks and no skills. They're annoyed that I'm in the press all the time. Terrible things have been said about me, suggesting I would do anything to become popular. I'm even starting to be shunned in the shogi world. That's why my senior acted the way toward me. Jesus, dude, what the hell? The real reason I participate in the church is that no one wants to play with me. My father used to practice with me from his sick bed, but he is, his illness has made that impossible. Maybe you should stop playing shogi and just get a job. That way my family won't get hurt again. No! Yeah, do what you love. You don't have to freaking get a job. You gotta do what you love. Yeah, do what I love. Shogi, I don't want to quit. <laughs> yes, you're right. You understand my true feelings. At the end of the day, I love Shogi. I'd never be able to give it up. I was just confused because of all that article and how my senior treated me. However, I think I can see my next move, thanks to you. You're helping me realize a lot about myself outside of Shogi. Yeah, no problem. Rank 6. All right. Let's return to the church and play a match. That article has left me somewhat irritated. I'm going to use my secret move, the Eternal Abyss Yagura Gate, and turn the board into hell. Well, would you care to face me in a match? I don't know after that. <laughs> oh, what the? <sighs> Oi, who's calling us? Ifumi. My electric fan at home has gotten so old and noisy. I can't focus on my shogi studies at all at this point. I might as well just get an air conditioner. However, I'm not really familiar with home appliances, so I'd like to ask for your help. I'm going to Akihabara tomorrow. Would you accompany me? Uh huh? You know what, why the hell not? I might bump into somebody and boost their, um, confidant as well. I was going to buy an air conditioner, but now that I'm actually here, I'm having second thoughts. I never liked- I've never liked air conditioners much. They make me too cold. But the hum of an electric fan bothers me. It makes it so hard to concentrate on my strategy books. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm holding this up. That's okay. Take your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Still, I shouldn't indulge my indecisiveness too much. That could turn into a terrible weakness in Shogi. I shall try to reach an answer soon. Hey. Yusuke! Akira? What a coincidence. And she is... Where do I know her from? You're Kitagawa-kun from the art track. Yes, I'm Fumi Togo. I go to Kosei as well. Togo? Ah, the professional shogi player. I'm Yusuke Kitagawa. It's a pleasure to meet you. Do you two also come to bask in the cool air? <laughs> no, he's helping me pick out an air conditioner. Kitagawa-kun, are you here because... My dorm is a burning hellscape. <laughs> <laughs> That's the clear solution was to find a place of more comfort so that my creativity might flow once more. It's good thinking, though. <laughs> Isn't it? Though I did decide not to bring my art supplies in the end. My funds are wholly devoted to acquiring more art supplies, yet this inter... interminable heat has dulled my creative edge. Here, I may enjoy the cooling breeze and find inspiration in next-generation technology. What more could I ask for? I see... You make quite a compelling case, Kitagawa-kun. Oh, so you understand as well, Togosa. With a single swing, the blade of creativity may cleave through all adversity. 
whether wielded in a painter's hand or a tactician's. What's important is that the blade is guided by righteous valor. We have a, great sale going on. <laughs> a bit of scent trick, isn't she? <laughs> kind of like you when it comes to painting. Is that a compliment? Yes! Is something wrong, you two? No, nothing in particular. By the way, Togo-san, have you settled on your air conditioner? No, I'm trying to decide between an air conditioner and an electric fan. Between the two, I'd prefer an electric fan, but the noise would still bother me. I did see an electric fan that functioned with no blades. Perhaps that would suffice? What? A bladeless fan? I saw a tower fan where the tower was hollow, yet air is still flowing out of it. Technology has truly come a long way. That settles it. I'll go with that one, then. With such revolutionary technology, I may be driven to create innovative new strategies. I'm glad I was able to assist. If I might ask, what do you plan to do with your old electric fan? I would be happy to take it off your hands. Huh? How many people are gonna show up? Freaking <laughs> Fumi, first Yusuke. And now, Chihaya. Another acquaintance of yours. You're very well connected, Kurusuku. Ah, if it isn't Mifune-san, she's an accomplished fortune teller. Fascinating. What kinds of fortunes does she tell? She knows a lot. That's wrong. Not everything. Without my tarot cards, I couldn't divine much anyway. Oh, but I could tell a little bit based on your personal aura. Oh boy. Ah, I see. The two of you seem to bear a very interesting connection with Karusu-san. It's somewhat different from ordinary friendship. I sense quite an unusual bond indeed. Haha. -ha. I see. Well, aren't you? You aren't wrong there. Yes, that sounds about right. You really are a mysterious person. The star burns with such intensity. What strange destiny could draw them together? By the way, Mifune-san, why are you here? Oh, right. I was looking for a replacement for my old electric fan. <laughs> Is everyone looking for, like, <laughs> air conditioning replacements? I know the worst of the heat is past, but I can't make it through these Tokyo summers without one. What a coincidence, that's what I was just looking for too. These two were just helping me decide on what model to buy. Is this? My goodness, another strange coincidence. Perhaps the fates conspired to put us all here. Now can we pursue the bladeless fans together, yes? Huh? Bladeless? Haha! <laughs> How is a fan supposed to blow air with no blades? I'm not that gullible. Seeing is believing. Shall we go inspect it for ourselves? What? Huh? What in tarnation? <laughs> I just pictured a little doge with a cowboy hat on. <laughs> oh, that's so cool how we saw everybody. Well, not everybody, but we saw Yusuke, Hifumi, and Chihaya on a one trip. That reminds me, before we go to see Iwai, we should go to the arcade. Because remember when we went to um, Mementos, that one freaking guy was cheating or whatever, so we gotta talk to him. GAMERS! Do you know about this King player? King? Of course I know about him. You're talking about the King of Akihabara, right? He's just in elementary school, but he's a real pro at playing gunabout. That damn arcade... or grade schooler, he has to be a cheater too. I hear that he usually plays at the Gigolo Arcade in Akiba. He's actually really good at gunabout, people can tell from the way he moves. So the Gigolo Arcade, huh? I have to go eventually. We gotta pay a visit to EY. Hello there. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Guru, not a gun enthusiast. At your age? <laughs> mm. Well, I guess you've got the heart of an enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. <laughs> Yeah, this could work. Oh boy. Hey, I can grant that wish of yours. Oh? But you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Yeesh. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. <laughs> Just let me buy them already, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You're not bluffing, are you, kid? <laughs> May actually make you more useful if you are. <laughs> Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. Hmm. For example, hmm. you help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence. Oh god. And as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu. 
with good prices for a punk like you. <laughs> what do you say? Not bad, huh? Nope. These two options are terrible, so what's, what's your goal here? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Uh, gotcha. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Alrighty. Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. Evil with evil, you say? Won't be able to get much stronger if I don't accept this offer. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? <laughs> Do what I can. That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. <laughs> the good old EY line. You should be grateful. And now we gotta pay a visit to Nijima. so many armed weapons we should have been having the help from a gun enthusiast it seems you had model guns in your possession as well their detail goes beyond a simple hobby yep i'm sure some people believed those guns were real you'll tell me how you procured them won't you <laughs> spill it i'll spill it for you thou don't care thou don't care Start a customization allows you to customize your gun and install upgrades. All right. D. Thanks, Eli. Oh yeah. When I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Alrighty. Clean, run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Got Must it. be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? <laughs> Something like that, I guess. That's my contact info. When I text you from that ID, it'll be because I need help around the shop. Just so you know, if you ever get caught or anything, I never met you. Nothing to do with me, be clear? If you want something, you're gonna have to work for it. <laughs> so it's my first job. <laughs> Yeesh, take it easy there, cowboy. You're that eager to get into it, huh? Yeah, we need your confidant as high as possible. I'll send a message when everything's ready. Hope I can count on you, kid. Later. Okay, that's it for today. Head on home, part-timer. EY was like one of my favorite like confidants to rank up in the old one, but because you needed your gut so damn high, you had hardly enough time to hang out with him. Let's see. More time with Maruki. Hello again, Doc. Thank you. We have the exact same drinks on the table, too, when we first met you this episode. Come on, man. Thanks for coming. So today, I'd like to start off with our usual topic. Not, I had you going there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Kurusuku, you're in for a real treat today. I know it's been a while since you've had one too. I'm good on cookies, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm good on cookies, thanks. <laughs> Even I'm not that predictable. So, I recently found this delicious looking buffet. It's apparently very well reg regarded. It has all sorts of cuisines. Well, thanks to your input, I'm making some real progress on my paper. I'd like to take you to that buffet as the way of thanking you. How does that sound? You're taking us to the, um, what's it called, the buffet in, um, Shibuya? Like, ooh, really? Of course. Honestly, I feel like this won't even cover what I owe you for after all you've done for me. Well, that settles it then. Okay, We should let's head go. over there now before they get too busy. Are we going to the buffet in Shibuya? Yep. Now. All right, now this is all on me today. No holding back. Eat as much as you please. Yeah, thanks for the food, but why the hell are you doing this for? Mm -hmm. Dig in. Although, maybe I went a bit overboard for my first trip. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Would you mind if I asked you about something before we eat? Yep, there it is. It's about my paper. Uh -huh. Who's that looking, dude? Shibusawa? What the hell? Maruki? Huh? I knew it! Shibusawa! In the flesh! What are you doing here? That's my line. It's rare to see you in a restaurant like this one. Oh, and who might you... Oh, this be? Oh, he's, uh... How do I put it? Um, I'm his pupil. He's teaching me. Pupil. Are you teaching me now or something? No, 
not exactly. Anyway, this is Kurusuku. Nice to meet you. I'm Shibusawa. Shibusawa was one of my colleagues back in college. Ah, he's the one who recommended I pursue a counseling career. And I hear it's been doing you some good, too. I catch wind of you going on every so often. Honestly, it's a big relief. You have so much more compassion than most, but you can also be a bit too carefree. <sighs> Not that I can refute it. But anyway, tell me more about how you've been. Fill me in on this guy, too. Oh, uh, but aren't you here with others? What about them? Eh, it's fine. We just happen to swing by here. They won't mind me being away for a bit. And do you think you two are really gonna be able to tackle all that food on your own? That's... What? Oh, right. <laughs> so you're a student of Chujin Academy, Kurusukun? This year, yeah, we had a perverty teacher, we had a principal have a mental shutdown. Things have been going great! And that's where you're counseling now. Yeah, but only part-time. So what are you two doing out at a place like this? This isn't some kind of private counseling session, right? He's, well, he's been giving me a hand with my research. I just brought him here as a thank you for all his help. Research? I had mentioned... I had meant to mention this earlier, but my paper is finally almost finished. Yeah, congrats. That's Thank huge. You. It's all thanks to you, though. Paper? The one you were doing research for? You mean you're still... Yep, I'm still at it, even after all what went down. Oh? You remember what I told you, that I'd finish this paper no matter how long it took me? What the hell? A rookie. Haha, <laughs> you blow my mind sometimes. I swear, you gotta be the most stubborn man in the world. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? And anyway, it's not 100% complete yet, and I haven't even begun the peer review process. Oh, seriously? I'd be more than happy to review it for you. I mean, I did perform all the peer reviews for your, re for your publications in college. Huh? Really? Of course, man, why not? In fact, that's it. This is now officially a celebration. The meal's on me today. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm supposed to be treating Kurusuku today. Oh, don't worry so much. Don't you want to congratulate him too, Kurusuku? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's celebrate. See? He's up for it too. <laughs> I, I do appreciate it, but I have to say, I have mixed feelings about this. Oh, don't sweat, uh, sweat the details. Come on, let's go for a second round. We've got to hit up the meat section and the vegetables and the beans. <laughs> the beans are back that at it. great. Whew, what a feast. I think I've hit my caloric intake for the entire week. Yeah, man, I am gonna get an earful for pilling on the pounds. Hmm? By who? My girlfriend. Well, my fiancé, to be more exact. I'm getting married to... Hey, good on you, Shibusawa. Ah, I see. Huh? Wait, married? <laughs> yep, married. Now you're the only one left from school who's still flying solo. Aw, Rookie. Sorry to pry, but I feel like I need to ask, are you still... I actually forget I said anything. Oh, God. Is something wrong? Oh, God. You were going to ask about Rumi. Who's Rumi? I hate to pry, but who's Rumi? She was my girlfriend back when I was still a student. Well, uh... Well, I was just too spineless at the time, and we broke up in the end. Aww. Shibusawa knows something. Hold on. It's not like a tragedy or anything, though. She's totally happy now. It's just that I don't feel ready to enter another relationship of that sort right now. <sighs> this wasn't supposed to be a celebration. Yet I thoroughly killed the mood. Sorry about that. No, no, it's my bad for bringing it up in the first place. Why don't we wrap things up here? I have to say, it's really good to see you doing well. And with your paper almost finished, too. Hey, Kurusukun, keep an eye on this guy for me, alright? I mean, it's pretty rare to see him open up to someone like he has with you. You're talking about me like I'm some sullen kid. But I do need to express my appreciation properly. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me, helping someone like me make their dream come true, Kurusukun. No problem. I wonder if this room passed away, and that's why he's so focused on All right. doing cognition aware if, um, People don't have to feel pain anymore. 
Well, should we get going? Don't forget to send me that paper, okay? I'm seriously going to review it for you. Haha, <laughs> I won't. I'll be in touch soon. Be careful, okay? Oh, man. Well, on the good side of things, we need to hang out with him one more time because I heard that Maruki leaves on November 18th, and if we get to rank 9 before that date, come that date, he'll become rank 10. So we just need to see him one more time and we don't need to worry about Maruki anymore. Which is sad, but at the same time, I'm happy to get his confidant done and I don't have to worry about it. Wait, I just realized, did they change the look of Akihabara? This place looks completely different, dude. What the hell? Oh, they like redesigned the hell out of this place. Either that or I'm just going crazy because I don't remember it looking like this. Enough admiring the atmosphere. You got to hang out with Mishu. Hello. Hey! I have some great info for you. Yep, here we go. About the next target for the Phantom Thieves. Oh god. This one's massive. Oh yeah? You sure are fired up? No, no. Well, of course. We've got a huge target on our hands. This is the guy. He's a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. He's great at acting, has solid conversational skills. He's even been in all sorts of commercials. If you manage to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to the Phantom Thieves. He's not doing anything wrong, though. He's gotta be doing some shady stuff, I just know it. Are you just assuming that because he's getting popular, Mishima? And no, I'm not saying that out of jealousy. I heard a rumor that a famous idol fell into his clutches. You need to act on behalf of her fans. So they're destined to be, like, engaged or something, and you want us to ruin it? Yeah, it's none of our business. So you just want to ignore the wishes of those fans, Kurusu? Come on, this is the evil underbelly of the entertainment industry. It's perfect for the Phantom Thieves. It's not perfect! He's not doing anything wrong! I mean, though, this world... Or this would be the best publicity possible for what you guys. What do you guys. think? Well, pretty good tactic, huh? Aren't I an amazing producer? Just you wait, I'm going to put the Phantom Thieves on the map. You'll practically be swimming in quests. Jeez, please. I'm getting more and more greedy for, like, All right. freaking Phantom Thieves stuff. That's right, I'm the producer for the famous Phantom Thieves. I'm not boring, I'm not a zero. Hey, take out your phone. What? What do you want me to do? All right. I just sent you that actor's data. Why? Yeah, why? There's nothing he did wrong. Don't worry, the request will boost your popularity, guaranteed. After all, I'm the only reason you guys have gotten this. Excuse me. Oh. So it's gonna be like that, huh? Yeah, is that right? No, no. I think you mean, yes, that's right. Ugh, you just don't know all the stuff I do for you guys. Yeah, he's gone. He's distorted. The Phantom Thieves' success is thanks to me, and the Phantom Thieves are changing the world. That means I'm the one who's responsible for those changes. And no, you are not. That means I'm not a zero. Make sure you check the info I sent you. I'll let you know once I found some more details. See you around. Bye. Yeah, he's gone. He's become so distorted. Yeah, all you did for the Phantom Thieves? Give me a break. Oh. Hmm. Yes! Now we can finish our confidant with Makoto. And we got Max Charm all Debonair. Right. That's one major stat down, four to go. Nice going! Hey! What? I was just doing a random classroom question. I didn't think we would rank up our knowledge to the max. Let's go! All right. Increase from encyclopedic to erudite. That's so sick, dude. I wasn't even going to put this in the video because I thought we weren't going to rank it up. Well, now I have to. 
we won't max our thing with him, but I think this will be the last time we have to hang out with him until November 18th. I think that's when the day is. I don't Thank remember. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You see... There's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, what's up? I know this is a little personal, but... You remember how my former girlfriend came up the other day, Rumi? Oh... Is he gonna talk to us about it? Yeah? We were even engaged if you... Oh, please don't freaking tell me she died. She was... She was so cheerful, I knew it. That's why he's looking into freaking changing people, like not dealing with pain. Oh, she was so cheerful. I mean, she could get pretty aggressive. She was always kind of hot-headed, but always so kind, too. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, I didn't deserve her, but if we had our shot, my life would have been so much happier than it had ever been. <laughs> but reality's never that simple. Oh my god. A burglar broke into her family's home. Rumi and I had been visiting. We were there to see what had done to them. It was just bad luck. But it didn't end there. He must have had been desperate to an escape. He attacked Rumi on his way. I was right there. fight back against the unfairness of reality. If someone suffered like that, I'd help. Like I said before, Rumi's in a better mental place now. She's happy. But that pain I felt back then, that's how this project was born. I knew it, dude. Something had to have happened. And now she's in a mental hospital because of that piece of shit who broke into her house. Oh my god. On the plus side, as much as it as much as horrible it sounds, at least she's alive. And thanks to you, I finally found the true goal of that research, too. I don't care how long it takes me, I will make my dream come true. <laughs> for Rumi's sake, of course, but for you too, Kurusuku. I honestly don't have the words to say what all this means to me, but I can at least say this. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, I found my answer. And once it's ready, I hope you'll let me use it to help you find the happiness you deserve. What? My path is clear now. I think this will probably be the last time I come to you about the paper. Kinda sad, I actually liked hanging out with you, man. I know how you feel. I meant a lot to me, too. I'll let you know when I finally finish that paper. When I do, I'll have to thank you one last time. You helped me see my dream, though. I owe you so much. Now. But for now, I should uphold my end of the deal. I've got a really special one for you today. I think you're ready for something on another level now. Oh, well, that cinches it saying that's the last time I hang out with him before November. Oh, Maruki. Detox X. Raises the chance of Detox X. What was that one again? Wasn't that the one where if he suffered an ailment, he could recover immediately? Right. I'll have to look it up. Jeez. Also, there's one more thing I want to tell you, but I, I'll save it until I finish my paper. I just hope you can forgive me for it. Uh, 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 don't mind me. Sorry, that came out way too ominous. Alright. 
had her, like, engaged, dude. Oh my god. Fulfiller. Well, see you. Akechi! Don't worry, Akechi, I'm coming right back. Carolina Justine, I need to adjust his persona. This a fee is required, then accept this such rudeness. Are you finished? Yeah, such rudeness. Wait, hang on. That, that, that one is... Hold on. That sounds wrong. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> FBI, open up! Alright, Akechi, I got my persona. Let's hang out. Hello there. Akechi looks like to be enjoying himself. It seems discovery through our discussion. Goodbye. So, are we ranking up soon, or was it just to hang out with our boy? Oh! Who's calling us? <sighs> Futaba! You have tomorrow off, right? I'm going to be a standby at the hideout. So, we gotta play games. I'll bring an awesome one tomorrow. I'll show you the rope so you can use to let out your stress. Oh! Hmm. I actually don't mind hanging out with Futaba and playing video games with her. That sounds like fun. And of course, the usual, today is Sunday. So let us quickly head over to the underground walkway, get that Aojiru drink, and then we will go play video games with Futaba. Hmm. Wait! No! Are you serious? Wait, hang on. I got okay. it. I got the trick. Hang on. Oh, hey, Yusuke. I was trying to go into the hideout so we could go into LeBlanc and then we could go out and play video games with Futaba. Oh. Don't tell me. Perfect timing. Oh my god. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Oh! I've been working on a way to incorporate beauty into our fights, instead of merely doing away with our enemies each time. Dude, you skate on showtime! Only a ago, I was struck with a bolt of inspiration. Hell yeah. Uh, is that right? <laughs> so, what did you mean by perfect timing, then? <laughs> ah, yes. So my potential idea is good and all, but I'll require your help to pull it off. <laughs> Would you please lend me a hand? Sure, but, uh, nothing too weird, all right? <laughs> Have no fear. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> that totally sounds like something you'd come up with, Yusuke. Yep. Of course, if you have no interest, you're in no way obligated to help. <laughs> no, no, it sounds awesome. Nice. Oh, but what if we tried doing this beforehand? <laughs> Oh, oh, we should definitely incorporate that into the attack. I never would have come up with that part on my own. Oh. Awesome! I can't wait! Nice! Actually, I want to try it right now as well. <laughs> I truly hope the star will grant us this. Oh, I bet. Dude, I've seen that one because um, Atlas themselves made a post All right. That. Dude. Well, let's see if it huh? actually works. No! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Futaba. Damn it! Oh man! Shit! I wanted to do that. Oh, I wanted to play video games with Futaba. Might as well go hang out with Yusuke. Damn it, dude! I feel bad. I wanted to hang out with her. Ah, it's Kawanabe, the guy who talked to Yusuke at Matarames. Come, I've ordered your portion as well. Please eat freely. No. Before that, there is something I would like to ask. Just, who are you? Hmm, an interesting question. My work involves gallery management, but my hobbies are diverse. The Foundation is but one of those hobbies. Broadly speaking, we're responsible for scouting and nurturing talented youth involved in the art world. We offer free scholarships, mediate study abroad programs, and we also connect young artists to customers. At a time, even Matarame participated in our organization. Sensei. I mean, Matarame? Indeed. A good many benefited from his time working with us. We were aware of the dark rumors about him, but we could never have seen his confession coming. I suppose it's like he was deceiving us that whole time. 
<laughs> Monorame. To think I once relied on his teaching, called him my mentor. This is all because of him? It's his fault I can no longer view paintings with a pure heart. Hmm? In the past, simply the desire to paint led me to seek beauty. But now I find myself constantly weighed down by the search for awards or the praise of others. An ugly attachment has fastened itself upon my work. I can no longer paint how I how used to. How could this be? My art is tainted. I see. Aw, oh, poor Yusuke. However, it would be wasteful to let your talent dry up. Our foundation would gladly support you. Not only a former student of the infamous Matarame, but someone with those looks. There's definitely a market for you. We'll sell you as the tragic, handsome artist. You know what do you mean by tragic, handsome artist? As he said, I'm wondering the same thing. Exactly as it sounds. Having your ideas stolen by Matarame, losing a place to live, hungry for food, that unstable air about you makes for the perfect tragedy. A story like yours will sell even to those who don't understand art. A story? If you don't have one in the modern climate, nobody will even mention your name. Don't worry, we'll handle the details, but in return you must sell your work through my gallery. I'll take a meditation fee, but you'll be granted steady revenue and a nice customer base as well. Do not mock me. How foolish. Tragedy? Looks? Story? Those have nothing to do with art. In the end, this is only about money. That which taints pure beauty. How immature. Excuse me? It seems you haven't learned anything after all. You're not looking at reality objectively. Is wealth really that horrible? And beyond that, how long will you continue to chase those illusions of yours? Purity? Art? I decline. Just shut your mouth! I reject your offer. Hm. I thought you of all people would have the resolve to use art to make a living. I have that resolve, however, I also believe such a life should only come via proper assessment. Hmm? In that case, I have an opportunity for you. My foundation will soon be holding a competition for young artists from around the nation. The price shall be our support. We'll bring customers from around Japan to see that next great talent. There will be a great deal of pressure on you should you enter, or perhaps are you too afraid? What did you say? Yeah. What the hell? I wonder if you have what it takes to withstand a skill-based assessment of that magnitude. I look forward to finding out. Now then, it seems there's no use in any further discussion. You can have them send the bill to my office. You are unforgivable. That avaricious bastard. Why is that all artists talk about is money, money, money? Has the true meaning of art been lost? I think the truth is within you. Akira! Yes. You are correct. My passion can change the world. However, I would starve to death without money. Passion alone may fill my heart, but it cannot fill my stomach. What a troubling predicament. You have my thanks. Anyhow, I am quite glad that you chose to accompany me here. I may have a bit on um, my tongue off in anger if it had been only me. In other words, you are a soothing force in my life. <laughs> thanks, Yusuke. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> Allows you to use card duplication and card creation on the spot. All right. Uh, nice. Okay. I I will partake in Kawanabe's exhibition. I'm going to display my ability and prove him wrong. Come, let us go home. Hmm. Actually, we should eat first. The sushi has done nothing wrong after all. <laughs> that is true. Home. Well, I think before we end this episode, why don't we hang out with EY in the um, airsoft shop, and then tomorrow we'll just continue on prepping ourselves. Ooh, hello. Diner, huh? I thought only old farts come to places like this. <laughs> You've really changed, Mune san. <laughs> hey, don't knock this place. It's pretty decent and cheap, too. Huh? This coming from the guy who beat the crap out of 50 rival gang members. You don't need to exaggerate. Anyways, what do you want to talk about? Y yeah. Oh, right. How's Suda san doing? Same as always. Why? What's up? Oh, nothing. Just saw him round the other day. Hold up, didn't you two cut ties when you left the family? Why are you asking about him now? I mean, we're both young. I just figured it's about time we bury the hatchet. You can't just go up and talk to him, though. Oh, I get ya. You're still trying to hold the old code of honor, huh? Okay, I'll tell him you want to meet up. Don't say stupid shit Don't like that. Fool. I just want to end up in the same place at the same time. It's gotta look like a coincidence. In that case, shoot. 
Shibaura? Might work. You know, we're talking about redeveloping it. Hmm. Shibaura. <coughs> yep. Call him, give him the signal. Huh? You sick or something? Nah, it's just a cold. Hello? Yeah, how's it going? What? Your order's all wrong. My bad. I'll get back and take care of that straight away. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta run. Work shit. Let's talk some other time, yeah? Mm, see ya. Hey. Don't hang up. Masa's still on the phone, right? Just stay quiet so I can hear what he's saying. You got it. Suda-san, it's Masa. Oh, Ey was talking about you. I did just like you told me, though. The hell are you looking at? I was daydreaming, sorry. Nah, it's nothing. Just some weird kid staring at me. Anyways, Ey probably heard about that deal of yours, and now he's trying to squeeze some cash out of you. Uh oh sorry. No, it's... Yes, sorry. Yes, I understand. Straight up total lie, huh? Hmm. A deal. Sounds like there's some weird stuff going down. Anything I should do now? You're all good for today. I'll have to thank you in person later. At any rate, I honestly wasn't expecting too much out of you. <laughs> but it looks like you're actually gonna be in some kind of use to me. I'll be counting on you, kid. Well, there we go. Got the job done with it. EY? Alright. Here we go. Good work today. Order yourself something nice as a reward. Oh, and bring me the receipt so I can pay you back. Later. Aw. Thanks, EY. We got some proficiency. That maxes us! Let's go! Now we just need to worry about guts and kindness. Alright. Masterful to transcendent. Dude, we're so close. We just need two more stats and we're done. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, it's still too early to tell how many episodes I'm going to be prepping. So I think we'll do another episode and by the end of that one, we'll see how it goes. But dude, this episode was perfect. We finally finished our thing with Maruki and we just gotta wait for the day he finishes his paper. As well as getting three out of the five stats maxed. So now all we gotta focus on is guts and kindness and we don't have to worry about raising any more things. So. Next episode, we're just going to be continuing on prepping and getting some confidants up. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, whenever I upload a video, you guys will be the first to know. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see y'all in the next episode. Peace.